So in this video, I'm going to speak about fixes connected to our ACI fabric. One thing that you should know is this is not a good thing to connect a fix to our ACI fabric. That is just something for backward compatibility because you might have some fixes remained from your uh, previous configuration. Now you want to use it in your Cisco ACI fabric. The thing is, uh, there are some problems with using fixes in ACI Fabric. ACI Fabric does not support dual home fixes. That is one thing. And if you want to extend the number of ports in your Cisco ACI Fabric, what you should do is actually to use a tier 2 leaf. That's going to give you more flexibility, more management. Also, the management is not going to be more... Uh, load on your shoulder because uh, that's going to be configured by Cisco ACI itself. All we need to do is to make sure that these are connected correctly and then uh, continue working with them. Now, uh, the topology says that I have connected port 26 and 27 to L1 for fix 101 and the same thing for fix 102. So I'm going to create an interface selector that says port 26 and 27. Then I'm going to use that for L1 and use that for L2. I'm going to create a policy group that says this is a port channel. So I'm going to assign them. And then I'm going to have my fixed profile uh, connected to server and say that port 1 of each one of these fixes are connected to server 3. Server can be dual home and I can have LACP in here. Or I can just say, okay, that's just connection, and I have two connections. One of them is going to be active, the other one is going to be passive. In that case, I'm not going to bundle these interfaces to each other and just have the interfaces. So, whichever you wish, you can do this. I'm going to use a normal interfaces here, but up here, they are going to be port channels. So, let's do this from the very beginning. I'm going to go to Fabric and going to go to interfaces under leaf interfaces i'm going to create policy group you can see that i have some port channel policy group here i'm going to right click and say the policy group is going to be fix uh policy group and that should be a port channel so port channel is going to be lacp active the rest is not so important but you can just go with some of the configuration. Let's say, for example, CDP on, LLDP on, whatever uh, the configuration that you want to have here. So I click on next and nothing more here. So I'm going to click on finish. This is going to be a fixed port group that I'm going to use it. Now I need to right click on profile and create a fixed profile. So I click on this. I'm going to say fix 101 interface profile and later I'm going to say that these interfaces are connected to a server for example 11 one is connected to a server 3 okay, click on submit it appears here you see that on the right it just goes under fix interfaces not uh, interfaces I'm going to create another one. Fix 102 interface profile. Click on submit. That's going to appear under fix interfaces here. And later I can just add port selectors to these. But right now that's okay. The fixes have been created for me. Now I need to say that uh, some of the interfaces are connected to here from uh, the, uh, the, the leaf itself. So I'm going to create a leaf interface profile. The leaf interface profile is going to say fix 101 ports. And this is connected to leaf. On my leaf, I have 26 and 27 connected to fix. So I'm going to say this is connected to fix first of all so that would be fix 101 ports interface id is 126 to 27 fix profile i need to create one uh, i have some from my previous one oh no 
I really need to use them because I just created them. And the fix ID is going to be 101. Okay, so I click on OK, click on Submit. And this is going to appear under Interfaces, of course, not fix Interfaces. You can see that. I want to do the same thing here. So that would be fix 102 ports. The interface selector is connected to a fix. I just created this fix 102 interface profile. That would be 102. That would be 126 to 27. And the name is going to be fix 102 ports. Click on OK and click on Submit. So we are going to have these two under interfaces. These denote the ports connected from leave to fixes. But these fixed interfaces denote the ports connected to servers. I can just right click here and say click create access port, but later I'm going to do that. Uh, for now, I'm going to uh, do something else. The policy group that I have created, I can just assign them to this profile. Let's see what I have here. So if I just click on this fix 101 ports, double click on that, double click on the ports, uh, okay, that is here. I have fix 101 with this interface profile, which is completely okay, very nice. And for fix 102 ports, this is connected to fix 102 and fix 102. Okay, everything seems to be very, very good. And on this policy group that I created, which is for, I have not created any policy group, right? Oh, for fix for policy group. One thing that I need to add is going to be the attachable access entity profile. With that, I just make sure that uh, that is connected to the correct realm and that would be okay so this way everything seems to be good okay now that i have done this let's do the last step not last step of course because i have some more steps i go to switches go to leaf selectors go to profiles on l1 i need to say that fix is connected to here so i click on this plus and the interface selector profile is going to be fix 101 ports. Click on submit. For L2, I need to do the same thing. Associated profile is going to be fix 102 ports. Click on submit. So everything up to here is done. Fixes are connected. One way is to just type show fixes. And after this step, you should see fixes appear in the CLI of the leaf. Also, if I just go to inventory, go to pod one and go to L1, go to interface, I should see fixes here. And if I just go to configuration, I can see that 26 and 27 are in this color. On the right, it says this is fixed. But none of the interfaces of the fix are connected to anything because I have not configured anything yet. Very nice. This part is done. So let's go to access policies one more time. This time I'm going to go to fix profiles and I'm going to add the server to them. Like I said, you can just go to here and click on fix interfaces, right click on this. Or you can just right click on the interface profile here, select create access port selector, whichever you want to, that's going to be okay. You can even just click on here. And on the right, interface selectors for fix is there. You can just do that. So let's right click on this and create access port selector. So I'm going to say there is a server connected to here. So that is going to be SRV3 ports. The interface ID is going to be 1 slash 1. Uh, then the interface policy group is going to be Let's say fix policy group is for that. I need to create a SRV3 interface policy group. Because that's the normal interface that I'm going to use, I'm going to go with create leaf access port policy group. 
like I said, I'm going to go with this policy. So I'm going to say SRV3 PG policy group. The attachable access entity profile is physical. I want to have CDP on, LLDP on, and some other policies that are down here. You can select some of them. And then I'm going to click on Submit. And click on Submit. The same thing should be done in here on Fix 102. I can click on this plus sign this time. Continue. So that would be SRV3 ports. There's just one port, of course, but let's say that I'm using this. The same thing could be used here, SRV3 port group. I don't want to create another one. Click on Submit, and that's it. This is the last step of configuring fixes.